Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another daily energy draw. This, uh, today we're doing romance week this week, but today is the full moon in Leo and there was a powerful message coming through yesterday, uh, in yesterday's channel that this Leo energy is reminding us that there is strength in love. A really beautiful and powerful message. So we're going to take a pause from Romance Week. We'll be back tomorrow with another. Um, but we're going to use the Moonology deck today because I really wanted to pull a card or two on this energy. What is this full moon in, energy, uh, in Leo energy all about? So um, remember, all of my readings are meant to be timeless. I have a full playlist going back a couple of years now of these dailies. So do make sure that you are checking back on all the readings um, to see what is resonating with you. But let's just see what is going on with this energy. What does some powerful messages coming forth about love this week? And not just love within re romance or, you know, sacred partnerships, but love as a whole. A reminder that that is what exists in the universe. That is the presiding energy of the universe. So let's see, Spirit, what do you have to say? Wow, okay. Oh, it's like half the deck, so I'm going to reshuffle. Spirit, what message do you have? One card, please. One card. What message do you have today for Thursday? Okay, I'm going to take both cards here. We have step out of your comfort zone, and we have emotions are running high. The past couple of days, well, maybe even the past couple of weeks, there's been a real shift in energy where it really feels softer, gentler, and a lot more loving. Now, I do feel like there's going to be a lot of momentum, a lot of movement, um, even accelerated ascension. So we're going to be moving through more with regards to our ascension journey, really more light codes coming in, uh, more clarity coming in. I'm getting pointed to this crown chakra energy, and this really does feel like expansion. We've had some hard expansions. We've had some um, real opening of the crown chakra as well. What this feels like is this softer energy is going to continue. It might, well, how do I say this? It's going to continue, but it feels like there's also going to be some acceleration, some movement. This softer energy, this lovey-dovey energy, was a call for the heart to open. So if you had been kind of guarded, if you had been um, kind of shutting yourself down a little bit, um, the softer energy was coming in to remind you how to expand, to remind you how to open your heart again, to remind you, just like yesterday's daily, that everything really is love. And so you might have been feeling emotional. You might have been feeling nostalgic. You might continue to feel emotional and nostalgic because what you're doing is you're letting go of old aspects of yourself. You're letting go of old versions. And part of that emotional energy might be grieving some of that old energy. As we move into the new, this as we move into the 222 portal, we're going to see things picking up again, energy picking up again. We're going to see action. We're going to see movement. Um, we're really going to see accelerated ascension again but it's not going to be the difficult energy of the past because we're now in the phase of higher heart ascension and so over the past six months especially we've been moving through this transition of releasing the old version of ourselves for some it was very physical for some it was energetic where you were released well for it was both because as you release an old version of yourself energetically then you start to see changes in your physical world so it really was both but you could have seen it more prominently one versus the other and so what's happening is you really have been letting go of old versions of yourself, releasing old versions of yourself, and as such, that's what that step out of your comfort zone is all about. It's about letting go of the past, letting go of the old version of yourself and anything that was attached to the old version of yourself. For me personally, I'll share, I have been in the process, a long process, of moving and selling my home that was an old version of myself. I had bought that house when I was 27. It, after Shortly after I was diagnosed with Lyme disease, that house was my sanctuary. It was my place of healing. It was my place of hope. It was my place where I really learned how to love myself and, and live again. Um, I even, you know, my Divine Masculine was living with me for a while as well, but that was an old version of us. That was an old version of myself. And so I had to shift and really, you know, because I was shifting internally, that house was not 
my home anymore. That house became an old version of what was reflected within me. And so I had to step out of my comfort zone and make that change and make that shift. And throughout this process, I have been grieving, letting go of the house, letting go of the attachment to the house as as right as it feels, because I'm also letting go of an old version of myself. And there comes a sense of grief within that. And allow yourself that grief, allow yourself that time to mourn who you were, even if you have an excitement a sense of excitement for who you've become or who you're becoming. So there's a huge shift that's coming in and I feel like this full moon in Leo is going to support this rebirth energy that has been coming through, this letting go energy that has been coming through. Allow yourself to change. Allow yourself to step out of the comfort zone of who you were attached to, who you thought you were. Because ascension is all about growth, it is all about uh, uh, expansion, it is all about moving to a new and higher version of yourself. So uh, with that comes a lot of emotion, and with that comes a lot of of new, and with the new comes a lot of just, who am I? Who am I becoming? Who am I leaving behind? A lot of questions. But allow yourself to go through that process. Allow yourself to flow through that process. The full moon in Leo is giving you strength to love yourself enough to make that change, to make that difference for yourself, to continue to expand and grow, and to let go of the old version of yourself. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's daily. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm sending you so much love, so much light. And we'll see you then. Bye.